back. All right, let me pan down here real quick. And yeah, what did you see I've got there are a bunch of cubes. <laughs> and they're about three quarters of an inch. Well, there's close to three quarters of an inch square as I could, or sorry, cube as I could get them. And there's six species again. I've got, um, I've got sapeel, red oak, maple, cherry, poplar, and limba. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 cubes of each. And that gives me 16 times six, so 96 cubes. And my uh, final size here is, well, let's see, uh, a little over nine, so about nine and a half inches by about six inches, so about 54 square inches here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just grab these cubes and randomly arrange them into a glue up. Uh, I don't know what it's going to end up looking like when I'm done. Like I said, it is just going to be random. I'm going to just pull them together as tightly as I can. Uh, probably use a couple. Probably need to grab, grab a couple of scrap pieces so uh, and, and use those to help help clamp. But uh, I wanted to read, have a do over on the last bowl that I made. Is basically what's going on here. So with that, um, uh, like I said. I'm just looking for kind of a big chaotic pattern, and uh, we will uh, uh, we'll go from there. I can I, have, uh, I think I'm going to try to make a bowl that's about seven inches in diameter. So here we go. Right, my blanks are glued. Uh, yeah, my blanks are glued up, dried, and uh, right now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch them on the belt sander to uh, give myself, well, good mating surfaces. So uh, this should only take a moment. It better only take a moment.
This is the finished bowl. All right, let's try taste two, shall we? Take right. three. <laughs> oh, take four. Okay. Uh, anyway, I just finished slapping a coat of Danish oil on uh, on this on this bowl, so I'm I'm going to use the paper towel to hold it up for you. But this is the uh, previous one I did the the oblong bowl. Well, yeah, the rectangular roughly, and this is the round one. And I have to say I was right, or at least I think I was right, that the that the pattern, or, or with the with the with the cubes of random wood, basically, I think it works a lot better with uh, with this round bowl than it does with the rectangular bowl. The rectangular bowl just got a little too well. The pattern evened out. It didn't get it stay random when you're going up the sides. So on the corners, it was fine, which is why I think it worked pretty well with this one. So, and again, you know, sorry, you can't see the whole thing, but I don't need you know, Danish oil all over my fingers. So overall, uh, yeah, uh, I think, I think d despite, you know, the, you know, taking forever with the glue up and, and everything like that, I think this was, uh, uh, I think this was worth the trouble of doing. So yeah, I think it came out pretty well. So, uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the build video, and I hope it gave you some ideas, and with that, I will talk to you later. Bye.